as a queer individual in the fostering community, um, I could see that there was a need to really promote more um, safety and security for these youth that were identifying as queer and trans. In 2012, there was a study done by Trans Pulse that said uh, trans youth with supportive parents are 93% less likely to commit suicide. So I mean, those numbers are huge. So if you can be a supportive person in this young po person's life, you know, you're saving so many young, beautiful, precious lives by just being supportive within the child welfare system, your sexual orientation and your gender identity should not be something that you're worried about. You have so many other things to worry about. You should feel safe and comfortable to be exactly who you are. So I've been providing training for both foster parents and child protection workers within Ontario on you know the very basics. So what is gender identity? What are sexual orientations? Um, how to make your home more queer and trans friendly. So it's so important to provide safety, security, stability, and predictability for these youth because some of them have never experienced that. And it's really hard to grow and heal within the inside when you're so worried about all those external factors and not feeling safe. And I, I've seen some gains, you know, in the last couple of years, I've seen how important and the impacts that that has made in my community. Um, and so it's really a passionate thing for me because that's really my ultimate goal is I want these kids to be safe and feel safe.